Greetings, today I've got a couple of small things to look at up close and one, um, this is the probably the least interest interesting part but what it is, is a little BGA uh, chip um, that uh, came off of a board, uh, Elpida to be exact something it's a weird package, or strange package that um, if, uh, it's basically a chip on flex and that has been potted from the top so you can see the you can see the uh, flex PCB and uh, the chip in the middle but we'll, we'll get a little bit closer in a moment another thing I've got um, this is one of those um, silicon chips you can see shiny mirror um, that um, goes directly onto PCB with uh, BGA type thing at the bottom but um, what I gone and done I've actually put it against a, a abrasive wheel on a you know a, on a disc uh, sander very brutally um, just to see what what will happen and you'll see you can you can see there are so many different layers uh, on top of the silicon we've got bare silicon over here then we've got the the active uh, part the components and then we've got uh, one layer of copper second layer of copper third so there's multiple layers, it'll be interesting to have a look up close on this and lastly this I got really excited about something I was taking apart recently there was this um, linear regulator from Sharp uh, and yeah when I was trying to desolder it the case very evenly and nicely has detached itself from the uh, from the back plate and revealed the die over here. I thought that's brilliant. Let's have a look at the die. Now, unfortunately, it's not the actual regulator chip. This is just a MOSFET that's uh, that's been bonded onto the back of the chip. The the actual chip itself, you can still see in the middle. Um, this little one fitted in the hole right next to it, and in the middle on the in the plastic, there is still the actual um, control chip. Here is the first subject of uh, today's close-up and this is the chip on flex BGA chip which uh, seems a little bit different um, but it kind of, it also kind of makes sense you know but uh, anyways this is the these are all the bowls uh, all the connectors for the chip uh, those little things here are passive this is just basically this was a hole in the flat flex where the plastic went through and over here this long rectangular thing this is where uh, the actual chip is sitting on so maybe let's try to go a little bit brutal and take it apart in a moment see if we can split the two so moving on to the second subject this is the large silicon bare silicon die chip and you can see I've gone crazy with the abrasive wheel and on the bottom left you will see that's just bare silicon and a little bit up there are remains of some sort of active structure so this is where the magic was happening where all the control stuff was happening this is probably some sort of processing or memory or whatever the chip was and then you can see very faintly a grid of rectangular connectors across the whole chip and they probably differ from place to place you can see uh, right now about middle of the screen on the left side it's uh, it changes it's there seems to be a couple of thicker tracks but then we've got this mesh on top of it or under it depending how you think of it but on top of it in this perspective we've got this mesh of absolutely tiny connections uh, tiny balls and those are so small looking at this naked eye this just looks gray this uh, you cannot differentiate from individual uh, individual balls individual pins but on top of that what's fascinating is another layer of copper which makes all sort of weird and wonderful patterns and connections across all the boards to make more connections between different parts of the circuitry inside the chip so that's amazing then you've got the darker side of the copper of the same pattern and that's uh, some sort of dielectric something that would um, 
isolate some sort of oxide of something it basically provides an isolation barrier and um, you can see that it doesn't isolate everything there are individual pins that have not been covered in this and those go further up to another layer of copper which provided yet another way uh, of uh, making interconnections between different parts of the circuitry on top of this it's not present here anymore but there was another copper connection and that went on to do ex onto the external uh, ball grid array it is fascinating you think how on earth are they getting all the connections from the chip from the little tiny die onto onto the outside of the chip and it's it's ridiculous everything is so small over here so the, you you can barely see that with a with a naked eye moving on to mosfet or the control chip so this is the die that has decoupled itself from the plastic encapsulant and this one it's just a transistor clearly it's a very low pin count device you can see there is only uh, two bond wires that were coming off of it and the third one will be probably the back side uh, the actual plate and yeah this this is what a power transistor looks uh, like up close and this is the plastic uh, case of it and it's full of, full of a little bit of flux because you can see right next to the hole where the transistor was sitting there was a solder covered chip another die inside and this is what that's the control chip now it wasn't solder covered i was trying to solder something onto it to, to do two things maybe to cause some stress uh, through expansion and then attach something to it to maybe pull it out of that casing i wanted to see what the chip looks like but um, i wasn't getting any luck with this I'm going to try to brutally just break the plastic apart and maybe just maybe we'll get lucky and it will break off on the on the die itself and we'll be able to look at the die, chip die and guess what this is the the plastic and you can see very nicely chipped off this is as much zoom as i can go through the macro setup and this thing is tiny it's probably about a millimeter across the long way and yeah i'd like to see a little bit more detail okay i've got this set up uh, let me tell you it's an absolute nightmare to set up uh, such a tiny thing under a microscope and then record everything and whatnot but anyways uh, i've managed to get through it so let's press record over here i think that is recording so um we're in the corner of the chip and let's pan around it's interesting if i just tap on the table look what happens with the with the screen this is a very uh, high magnification level and yeah let's let's go down a tiny bit and we can see all sorts of really small really tiny connections and it's more than one layer so we can see clearly over here a pattern of you know going traces going up and down and there is what appears to be like shadows those must be there must be another layer of connections uh, happening underneath and all of those are happening uh, on different layers and there is a layer of um, insulation between them uh, usually some sort of uh, oxide uh, formed during the process and we've got at the bottom some some marks we've got a plus and a square right over here and yeah those haven't got any electrical properties i think that's just for maybe lineups yeah and we can see there is there, okay there is four layers from what i'm seeing over here because right here we can see the square and then we've got one plus very nicely visible and two more pluses progressively darker uh, which appears to be different sort of layers and i think that's how they line them up and we've got some text on here blst 621e it's upside down very a little bit tricky to read but i think that's what it's blst 621e so yeah and a lot more connections let me try to get to better focus there we go so 
a lot more connections happening over here and again it's just just a mesh mesh of connections and now we can go up those are uh, bond wires that were attached to this this is what was being fanned out to the outside of the case um, to the legs of the IC oh, hold on my microscope is getting stuck go and to the left and it's a weird strange looking feature over here some sort of symbol I'm not sure what that is uh, but there's uh, yeah this that's what's inside this little chip and this chip by the way just not make a mess I don't want to have to cut this video because when I have to cut uh, two videos simultaneously like the microscope footage and the big camera footage it's absolutely a nightmare to align them so I'd rather do it in one shot at least I'm gonna try um, yeah that's about it really tiny chip chip it's roughly about uh, a millimeter across and so they've managed to pack a surprising amount of um, surprising amount of stuff in here it's obviously really really tiny uh, but there you go I wanted to show you that so yeah if you enjoyed it you know, give me a thumbs up I think it's uh, that's it for what we can see with this today so thank you very much for watching and take care